a flurry of final touches before the first ever women's concert can get underway at Rumbek's Freedom Square. After weeks of planning, final phone calls are necessary to confirm that guests will arrive in time and that everything will be set up right. Banners have to go up and flyers are being hung out to advertise this big event being held in this small town located in the middle of South Sudan in Lake State. A generator has been delivered at the square as there is no electricity here. The public address system needs to be powered. As soon as the public address system starts to blare, those from afar begin to arrive. Young people lead the way with song and dance as the long-awaited women's concert gets underway. The procession of students from various schools is followed by a variety of cultural performances by women's groups with senior government officials and representatives from the United Nations Mission in South Sudan joining in the dance. The main aim of this concert is to help raise awareness about gender-based violence. The concert has brought together women's groups and has highlighted the powerful role of women in peace building while shining a light on the importance of women in society more broadly. The UNMIS head of office in Rumbek says the UN will continue to support women and peace in South Sudan as peace will ensure development. We would all agree that without peace we cannot develop. Without peace the children cannot be educated. Without peace, we cannot go to the farms to be able to provide food for ourselves and on the table. So it is my prayer that the government will continue to promote peace and UNMIS will continue to also support the promotion of peace, tranquility and uh, security in the state. Speeches were interspersed by other performances, including a short play by a young drama group depicting the impact of violence against women and the need to hold offenders to account. The government says it is committed to ensuring that there is lasting peace in the country. We will recommit ourselves to bringing lasting peace in this part of South Sudan. We are going to recommit all what we are doing to the full implementation of all resolutions that were brought forward by different committees to see into it that peace, security and tranquility is brought back to this peaceful land. When 26-year-old Bright's sister, the star attraction of the event, takes to the stage, she is mobbed by her fans. Bright's sister is a victim of early marriage and has one child. She has since left her marital home and the dowry paid at the time has been partially returned. Her story focuses attention at the event and on the important role of women in supporting their families and building peace. Through us women, peace can come because we are the peacemakers in the houses. We are the ones who are now taking care of our children. We are the ones taking care of our husbands. The fighting is killing our, our neighbors. So we have to be careful and we have to be out of the, of the conflict. Back home after the event, Bright's sister finds solace with her family, her grandmother and siblings. Her life is a struggle like thousands of other South Sudanese women, but somehow she has found the strength to speak out and sing for them and for peace. <laughs> With this determination, Bright's sister and others, both young and old, 
but with similar resolve, attend a day-long follow-up workshop under the theme, We Stand for Peace, where they heard that UNMIS, with support from the government, will continue to highlight the importance of women's role in society. I have learned in depth things related to gender-based violence, uh, conflict-related gender-based violence, and it is very important when one is aware of the same kind of cases. You can uh, personally protect yourself as well as see how others can also be protected. Anne says that giant steps have been made in a country where women continue to struggle. With all the enlightenment and the sensitization that we've done, women are aware of their role in conflict and the fact that they can be peace agents or conflict agents and a lot of them are choosing the peace option and some of them who are neutral have actually now taken a stance that is enough our sons are dying our husbands are dying our nephews are dying we need to put an end to this conflict for these giant steps to make a real impact in every woman's life continued conversations more outreach efforts support and encouragement from the government non-governmental organizations and the united nations is vital as this will allow the women to achieve their rights step by step. In turn, they can eventually make a difference and enable peace across Payams countrywide. <laughs>